I'm weary of doing this video and excited at the same time. Healthy eating habits. It's something I need to think more of and I'm hoping you guys are going to think more of after this episode. Do me a favor, give me all your thoughts and suggestions and your healthy eating tips down below, but don't argue, don't fight, okay? Because I know it's a big, big topic and people have uh, certain thoughts about, about eating and that's not what this is about. If you want to go fight, go to Facebook. All right, so let's get started. One thing I want to talk about is when something's healthy or when something seems healthy. For example, let's take Subway because Subway is where a lot of people go to eat to eat healthy, okay? Now, number one, did you know Subway will make any sandwich into a salad? Did you know that? So if you don't want the carbs, you don't want the bread at all, uh, you can turn a sandwich into a salad and they're huge. They're really, uh, I was very impressed. I didn't know that. But the thing I did find out and I was shocked about at Subway, and I'm going to put it right up on the screen right now. Now, I've always been told that the flatbread was supposed to be healthy for you. Uh, they came out with the flatbread for people who didn't want as much regular bread, wanted a healthy option, right? So I put together this chart. This is from Subway. These are their numbers. And if you look, I put a red arrow next to the white bread, the flatbread multigrain, and the flatbread white. Okay, now let's take a look at just calories for a moment. All right, I'm starting with the Italian white bread. Slide over where it says Italian white bread. Slide over to calories and you will see it has 200 calories. Then I want you to drop down to the next arrow, the flatbread multigrain, 220 calories. Flatbread white, 220. Now look at all three. If you slide over to fat, the white bread has two total fat, two grams. Multigrain and white flatbread has four and a half total grams fat. So, so far, the flatbread is worse than the Italian white bread. Now, let's move on over. Let's go to carbs, okay? Carbs, let's see. The white bread has 38, flatbread multigrain 39, and flatbread white 38. Still, the flatbread is not better than the Italian white bread. It's equivalent or maybe a little worse. Okay, so what does this tell me, all right? This tells me that the flatbread, in my, in my world, with fats, carbohydrates, and calories, is worse than, um, than the white bread, Italian bread. I didn't know that, that blew my mind. Here's what was even more disturbing. Let's go back to the chart. Look down at the bottom. See wrap, where you can get a wrap? Instead of bread, you can wrap it in a tortilla. Um, it's like a tortilla or a pita. Uh, but they wrap it up and you would think the wrap in American minds at least is healthier than the other ones. So look at those numbers, 310 calories. That's 110 calories more than Italian white bread. All right. The fat is eight grams of fat. Carbs are 51. So if you look at wraps, other than the sugar category, they're worse than anything on, on, the menu for your bread selection. So realize, I'm trying to show you that, oh, flatbread, oh, I'm, I'm not getting as much carbs as the white bread. Not true. You gotta do your homework. It kinda sucks you gotta do your homework, but you do. Now, if you could start doing substitutions in your meals, that's going to be a key factor. So let's say I go to a restaurant and I order steak and I have french fries with it and I have a, a Salad with Thousand Island, okay? The whole key to eating healthier is substituting things, okay? So like instead of french fries, I could go with steamed broccoli. If you don't wanna go that far, you could even do a sweet potato. And we're gonna talk about sweet potatoes in a second. But you're substituting french fries for something better. You need to get that out of there. A big fat ribeye that I normally would order, try going with a filet. You're gonna have just as much tenderness, less fat is marbled in a filet. Okay, you might pay a few dollars more. If it's too expensive, don't get it. I understand price is a factor too. But a filet isn't, you're not gonna be loaded down with this red meat. How many times you guys like woof down a steak and like, oh, I got a brick in my stomach. Okay, now let's look at the salad, you ready? The salads are crazy. You look at a salad, almost every salad today, even the dinner salads come with uh, croutons, which is carbs, and cheese. If you can hold the croutons and cheese and just have tomatoes and lettuce and the little bits of corn and cabbage, or, I mean not corn, but the little bits of carrots and cabbage they put in there, it's totally fine. 
but the dressing, the dressing is what kills a salad. Get away from the mayonnaise-based uh, or the sugar-based dressings. You go with like a honey mustard, it's got tons of sugar. You go with a Thousand Island, it's got tons of fat uh, with the mayonnaise in it. Uh, ranch, same thing, you got a lot of fat in your ranch. Try vinaigrettes, try just vinegar and oil and salt and pepper. And don't ask for extra dressing. This whole past year, I've been not asking for extra dressing and I'm tossing my salad before I eat it. Okay, now it's time to talk about sweet potatoes. Sweet potatoes is a great replacement for a baked potato. If you don't wanna go, get rid of your french fries and go to broccoli, go to a sweet potato. Here are nine benefits from sweet potatoes. Uh, sweet potatoes are high in B6, vitamin B6, okay? They're also a good source of vitamin C, which helps uh, maintain your skin's elasticity. Oh, that's not bad. Uh, contains vitamin D, and that plays an important role in our energy levels. Our moods helps build healthy bones, heart, nerves, skin, and teeth. A sweet potato contains iron, and iron helps us uh, white blood cell production, resistance to stress, proper immune functions. Sweet potatoes are also a good source of magnesium. I didn't even know this. Magnesium helps with relaxing, anti-stress. Who knew that? Uh, source of potassium. That's right, uh, potatoes, uh, I'm not potatoes, bananas and sweet potatoes are great sources of potassium um, and it regulates your heartbeat if you have good potassium and your nerve signals. I don't know if you guys have ever had like a muscle like like sometimes my, my bicep will just start to twitch a little bit. It, it could be that you're low in potassium. They, uh, sweet potatoes are naturally sweet tasting, but their sugars are released into the bloodstream evenly, slowly. Not like a potato that'll just knock you off your feet. Uh, you'll spike and then you'll come crashing down uh, once your sugar level comes back down. And the fact that they're orange means they have a lot of beta carotene in it, which is really good and helps ward off cancer and protects against the effects of aging. Great, eat a sweet potato and you'll look younger. <laughs> I wanna be rubbing in your face if that would help. So there's some benefits for sweet potatoes. It's all about substitutions and it's all about making sure that when you choose something healthy, it truly is healthier than what you're already having. Now for those of you who love food like me, um, sometimes we eat bad food because we like the way it tastes. We're starving and we have no time to make anything. That's it, we're starving and we have no time to make anything, it's even worse. You just, you're like, you ever been so hungry, like I don't care what crap they're putting through the window, I'm driving through this place, I'm just gonna get whatever because I can't, I can't see straight, okay? You gotta eat on a regular schedule. It's so hard, I'm, I'm as busy as anybody out there and I am the worst person at this. I have to stop and have my breakfast bar or a bowl of cereal before I get hungry. Literally, it's breakfast time, I'll sit down and have something small. Um, never wait, don't let your stomach tell you that you're hungry. The other thing is, when you order something, I guarantee there's cheese involved. It was unbelievable, I looked, cheese is huge. Everybody loves cheese and it's on everything. It's on your salad, it's on your burger, it's on top of your potatoes, uh, it's, it's everywhere. So hold the cheese. If you hold the cheese, you're gonna do yourself a, uh, if that's all you do this year, you're eating healthier. Try a burger without cheese. Honestly, you almost never can taste the cheese unless it's so thick. And I don't like a lot of cheese taste on my burger. I just like a hint of it. But I've been holding all my burgers with cheese. Uh, get them wrapped in lettuce. Get your burgers wrapped in lettuce if you can. I know Red Robin does it. I know McDonald's does a horrible job of it, but they'll do it. And most places, if you ask them, Red Robin, oh, and then uh, Carl's Jr. and Hardee's will also wrap their burgers and lettuce. The reason why we're doing all vegetarian dishes for this month is to get more vegetables in your head. I really want to get more flavors in you. I want to get you guys thinking of other options. Uh, and I want to squash something right now. Just because it's a vegetarian dish does not mean it's healthy. As you guys saw from uh, Friday's episode, it was lots of cheese in it. It's not healthy, always. So vegetables are good. Vegetarian dishes can be healthy. I mean, come on, chocolate cake is a vegetarian dish, but it's not good for you. So these are the things that I'm trying to bring up. Um, if you guys have any suggestions on, on how to replace cheese in a lasagna, what else to use, 
would be awesome. Substitutions is the key to eating better. So take a moment after this video is over, think about what you eat every day. Think about, am I eating when I'm starving? Think about what can I, what's the one thing I can get rid of on a regular basis and what can I put in its place? I don't want you guys to be, feel left out and I don't want you guys to feel hungry. That's the worst feeling, okay? And it's not really dieting. I hate the word diet. Diet is a temporary thing. Diet is a fad. Diet is, is not what I'm trying to get you guys to do. What we need to be doing is eating healthy permanently. So it's more like changing your lifestyle. I hope I can do it in 2015 and who knows, I may not but I'm gonna give it a try and I've been doing real well and I've been removing cheeses and, and side dishes are now becoming vegetables for me. Those are the things I'm doing. If you have any ideas or suggestions, put them down below and I will see you on the next episode.